Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am your host, Elder Angel Ferguson, and I thank you so very much for joining us today. I must apologize for being a little late. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, the attack of the enemy uh, to to stop us and to stagnate us um, is, is so strong. And, and let me tell you what happened. I woke up this morning feeling fine, got some assignments from the Holy Spirit on last night. And uh, as I was preparing breakfast, actually before that, I started to all of a sudden feel achy and in pain in my joints and all over my body to the point that I felt lethargic as if I was going to pass out. Uh, but we've had prayer this morning. I'm continuing to be in prayer. But it, it brings me to our word for today, the power of the Holy Spirit. At first, what we were going to share with you here on The Balance of Life was the fact that you have to see the vision. You have to see where God has brought you from. You have to see where he is taking you. And the enemy will come in to attack the mind. The enemy will come in to 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 try and, and stop you in your tracks, to, to slow you down. And the enemy will put all kinds of negative thoughts in your mind to, you know, so that you can't see where he's brought you from and it's a spiritual walk if you look over your life and as you continue in God as you continue in Christ and you let God be your father and you allow the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you he has brought us from a mighty long way and he didn't bring us this far to leave us what has happened is that uh, he has removed some things from us and that's the part of life in him and so I was thinking about those things last night and meditating on the word of God and, and rejoicing in that and got some assignments so this morning when I got up I was revving to go and, and feeling just fine and then all of a sudden there was this attack and so I began to go into prayer and ask someone else uh, to touch and agree with me and to pray over me. And I am so grateful for their obedience. And, and I just know that uh, we cannot be stopped or hindered by the enemy. And so, yes, don't get me wrong. Yes, I'm going to take it easy. But my spirit is yet praying my spirit is yet i'm yet interceding on behalf of others and so i immediately begin to pray and say you know if if this isn't me um if i'm feeling for someone else and it could be someone else that i do not know i did hear this word i heard the word rheumatism and of course i don't really know much about it so i kind of looked it up I tell you that I was just, uh, I was achy in a, as I moved my arms and in my joints. And, and I don't have a cold. I don't have the flu. I am fine um, to the point that I just felt like I was going to pass out. And so I'm going to yet intercede. And I don't know who it is, but the Holy Spirit knows who it is. God knows who it is. And, and so I send forth a prayer of healing and restoration unto the body today. No matter who you may be or where you are at this present time, God knows what you're going through in your natural body. And so I want to just intercede on your behalf today. And, and just the Lord God, he says, by my stripes, you were healed by my stripes. You are healed. And I'm pleading the blood of Jesus over your life right now, over your body right now that you will feel a refreshing, Lord God, though, that he will penetrate into the bone and marrow and to every ache and pain in your body. 
and that he will revive you in the name of Jesus and that you are healed, set free and delivered and that you can move about because let me tell you something. That's not a feeling that I want to repeat, but I keep hearing the word of God and it's one of my favorite scriptures over in Ephesians that says, for this cause I bow my knees. And so I do have the understanding that there are times that uh, we are to intercede. And it's not just for people that we know. It's until the ends of the earth. And so I pray for your divine healing in the name of Jesus. And continue to just intercede on behalf of those who are sick and going through in their bodies today and racking pain. But nevertheless, God allowed us to come and we're going to share a few words of encouragement with you. We'll be back in just a moment. On behalf of True Life Community Worship Center here located in Tampa, Florida, I would like to invite you to worship with us. The address is 7402 North 56th Street, Building 600, Tampa, Florida, 33617. The leaders of this house are Senior Pastor Calvin Green and Pastor Angela Green. Every Sunday morning, True U University begins at 9 o'clock a.m. Morning worship begins at 1030 a.m. And on Wednesdays, Bible study begins at 7 o'clock p.m. And on this Friday, tomorrow, August the 16th at 7.30 p.m. On behalf of the Pastor's Appreciation Services, we would like to invite you to have an encounter. This is an encounter with the Holy Spirit with guest speaker, Apostle Samuel Phillips Sr. of Word of His Grace Christian Fellowship. Once again, the service is for tomorrow. It is on behalf of the pastor's appreciation services. The pastors of this particular house, True Life Community Worship Center, are Senior Pastor Calvin Green and Pastor Angela Green. You are cordially invited, if you are in the Tampa Bay area, to come and to fellowship as they just give honor and thanks for the man of God. We would also like to invite you to visit us on our website, angelfergusonsministries.simplesite.com. On the website, we have a lot of stuff just for you. We have our learning lab, which is absolutely free. Please feel free to visit. If you're looking to sharpen your spiritual knowledge when it comes to the fivefold ministry, we do have some information there. We do also have some information for business tips and tools, as well as some things from our mentoring program. And we will keep those things updated for you. There is no cost for you to uh, go on into the learning lab. And there are some videos, there are some written material. Also on our website is our bookstore, Motivation That Inspires. If you see something on the website that you would like to purchase, please feel free to email us at aferguson.wrp at yahoo.com. Let us get over to the word of God. I'm over in the book of John. And I'm looking at... Nicodemus when he visits with Jesus. And, and as I was reading this, there's something that struck out at me and I want to share this with you. I'm going to go straight to the scripture and then I'm going to back it up a little bit. It says, The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh, whither it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. As the wind, though unseen, is identified by its activity and sound, so also the Holy Spirit is observed by his activity 
in and effective upon those who are born again. And so, the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's talk about the power of the Holy Spirit. When you have received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, he gives us, he, he asked of the Father, he prayed to the Father to send us the Holy Spirit. There should be some some signs and wonders that the Holy Spirit is, is operating in your life. That you have a continued fortified relationship with Jesus. And so as I read that, and I'm going to read that again, because I wrote a note in my phone. It made me think. What I put in my phone was, you are identified by your spiritual activity and sound. Let's explore that. You are identified by your spiritual activity and sound. I'll say that again. You are identified by your spiritual activity and sound. And so let me give you this example. Just as I opened up and indicated how I was not feeling well prior to coming on, to air, on the air, my first thought and impulse was to pray. Lord, what is this? Holy Spirit, lead and guide me to what this is. I begin to ask a question. Is this mine? Is this me not feeling well? Or is it someone else? Leading God me. Is it someone else that's not feeling well? Show them to me, Lord God. What is this? I intercede on their behalf. And I begin to pray within now. Granted, I needed to, to sit down, but my spirit man was yet interceding. Once again, you are identified by your spiritual activity and sound. When the enemy comes up against you like a flood, where, what is your activity? What sound do you make? When the enemy wants to plant a seed in your mind to tell you that you'll never amount to anything, where the enemy comes against you and says, you know what, you've tried this before and it's just not going to work, you might as well just throw in the towel. When the enemy tries to tell you, you know what, you might as well just walk away and give up. Because you have been born again of the Spirit, you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Behold, old things are passed away. You are a new creature in him. There should be a certain activity and, and sound coming that comes from you, my God. What activity and sound comes from you? In a crisis, and you know what? We're human, but we're spiritual beings. We're flesh. And if you step on my foot hard enough or, or if I get pushed hard enough, I'm going to say, ouch. But what's my activity? And what's my sound? Do I go into prayer when I'm back up against the wall? What, what, what is it that I do? What sound do I make? Do I have a sound of praise or do I have a sound of woe? Do I have a sound of, of defeat or do I have a sound of being triumph and a victorious person? What sound? What's my activity? It says it right here. We're in John the third chapter. The wind bloweth where it listeth. And thou hearest the sound thereof, but canest not tell whence it cometh. And so where I, I might be hurt and I might be going through, there's an expectation for me to cry and to fall into a place of depression. 
But because I have the Holy Spirit dwelling on the inside of me, and I am led and guided by his power, by his might, he will reveal unto me all truth, and, and he will give me an understanding, and he will reveal unto me the mysteries of God's word. My morning shall turn into joy. My anger can turn into peace. My impatience can turn into patience because of what's dwelling on the inside of me. Let me read that again. It says, The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canest not tell whence it cometh. And so the flesh, the carnal mind, might have an expectation that you're going to lose control. But the Holy Spirit that's dwelling in you will cause you to go into a praise instead of anger. And whither it goeth, so is everyone that is born of the Spirit. That's so very powerful. I pray that you can catch that in the Spirit. See, old things are passed away from us. We are a new creature. We've been born again. And so we don't act the way we used to act. We don't act the way the world acts. I might be going through and, and, and let me tell you something there are some that are going through hell right now but because of what's dwelling on the inside you'll never know it we'll never know it because every day they get up they keep trying they keep coming before the throne I tell you yesterday in my prayers as I was laying down, that was my prayer, that was my supplication, that was my confession. I have nowhere else to go. I have no one else to turn to. And so I just have to keep showing up before the throne of my Father. He is my confidence. He is my hiding place. He is my confession. He is my armor. He is everything to me. And so I don't care what it may look like. I keep showing up to get in his presence. I keep showing up because I know that he has an answer for me. I keep showing up just to lay at his feet. I keep showing up because you know what? He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him will I trust. That is the 91st division of Psalms. I keep showing up. I keep showing up just to hear what He would have to say to me today. That's the difference. That's the difference. He's holding you. And so I have to ask you this question because it's a, it's a very, very profound question that will cause you to examine yourself and to examine where you are. It's really, it's really more of a statement. You are identified by your spiritual activity and sound. And so what sound are you making? What's your activity? Are you just going to roll over and allow defeat to settle in? Or are you going to dance with praise? Are you going to rejoice? There's a difference between being silent and being silent. There's that difference of being silent and shutting down. And you're not praying and you're not praising and you're not reading your word. That's accepting defeat. And then there's that place of being quiet where you are in a place of prayer. You have shut down because you want to hear what God has to say about the situation. And so I must, I must keep, I have to keep putting this out there. You are identified by your spiritual activity and your sound. What sound are you making today? 
I'll be back in just a moment. During the month of August, we have a special offer to each and every one of you. Uh, and it's it's awesome, awesome offer for a donation of $35 or more. We will send you from Motivations That Inspires Bookstore one of three books. The books that we have to offer for this month are Have Faith in God, Four Words for Tough Times, just Let God Be God, Help and Hope for Today's Christian, and What Should You Do When You Don't Know What to Do. All three of these books have the same author, which is the Reverend Author T. Jones. And so for the month of August, this right here is our special that we have going on, and, and we will have another book next month. I believe next month we're going to take a look at uh, the journal the process. I think we're going to pull that one for the month of September, but for the month of August with a donation of $35 or more uh, for this ministry. And if you want details on how you can sow a seed, how you can give your donation, our email address is aFergusonWRP at yahoo.com. Then we will send you one of these books. Once again, one of the books is Have Faith in God, Four Words for Tough Times. Just Let God Be God, Help and Hope for Today's Christian, and What Should You Do When You Don't Know What to Do. And let me tell you something, this last book, What to, What Should You Do When You Don't Know What to Do, we just, we're, that's what we're talking about today. The activity of, in, in your spiritual sound, the activity of your spiritual sound. What, what, what is your spiritual activity? What is your spiritual sound? How are you identified? Are we going to let God be God? Are we going to allow the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us? Are we going to go into a praise or are we going to roll over and cry? And Because let me tell you something, rolling over and crying is not going to solve anything. Only thing you're going to get is probably dehydrated. All depends on how much you cry. You're going to get a headache, but nothing is really resolved. But when you turn to prayer, when you turn for an answer, see, that's why that's why we have to keep showing up into the presence of the Lord, because there is an answer. But if we give up and if we, we don't show up for the answer, then what do we have? And so I like this question. I'm actually, I need to post this question. It's more of a statement, like I said. You are identified by your spiritual activity and sound. And so where are you? When I ask the question, where are you? I, I'm not really talking about your physical position. I'm talking about your spiritual position. Where are you? Where are you today? You know, when someone does something to you, are you going to seek the revenge or are you going to let God handle it? Because he said, vengeance is mine, say the Lord. When they talk about you and, and, and they despise you and they use you, are you going to retaliate or are you going to do what the word of God, where he says, pray for them? For those who, who dislike you with no cause or they might even like you for something you did in your past or, but you know, but once you repent, all things are, those things are washed away. But what are you going to do? You're going to love them. You're going to intercede for them. You're going to pray for their deliverance. Because no man is perfect. And we all belong to God because he created us. It's a disobedience that separates us from him and we fall out of fellowship and relationship. But just as one day he saved and delivered us, he'll do the same for them. But we have to have that difference. We have to have that, that balance. That's why I love the balance of life. 
because it takes that balance. We'll be back in just a moment, but I need you to really ask yourself that question. How are you identified? You should be identified through your spiritual activity and sound. You are victorious in him. He said that you are more than a conqueror in him. He said that all things will work together for your good. But do you believe that? Do you believe that he has an answer for you? Do you believe it? I'll be back in just a moment. While visiting the New Jersey area, we would like to extend an invitation for Faith Outreach Deliverance Church. The address is 100 South Pine Street, Bridgeton, New Jersey, 08302. The leaders of this house are Chief Apostle Roma D. Allen Sr. and Pastor Lillian C. Allen. The schedule of services are as follows every Sunday morning. Sunday school begins at 9.45 a.m. Morning worship begins at 11 o'clock a.m. And evening service begins at 4 o'clock p.m. On Wednesdays, corporate prayer begins at 6 o'clock p.m. And Bible study begins at 7 o'clock p.m. And every Friday, evangelistic services begin at 7 o'clock p.m. If you are in need of prayer and would like to reach someone, they do have a prayer line. The telephone number is 1-530-881-1212. Code for that phone number is 684-116186. There is someone available Monday through Friday, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and at 3 o'clock p.m. And on Saturdays and Sundays at 6 o'clock p.m., 6 o'clock a.m., I do apologize. If you would like for us to make mention of your ministry while on the air, please feel free to email us at aferguson.wrp at yahoo.com. There is absolutely no charge for us to make mention of your ministry, your schedule of services. Just send us all of the pertinent details and we will make mention on the air. Once again, our email address is aferguson.wrp at yahoo.com. Your subject matter would be church announcements, and we will definitely make mention of that while on the air. And once again, let me extend that invitation to you if you are in the Tampa Bay area. On tomorrow night, August the 16th at 7.30 p.m., True Life Community Worship Center presents Pastor's Appreciation Services. The guest speaker is Apostle Samuel Phillips Sr. of Word of His Grace Christian Fellowship. The address is 7402 North 56th Street, Building 600, Tampa, Florida 33617. Uh, the appreciation services are on behalf of Senior Pastor Calvin Green and Pastor Angela Green. You are cordially invited. I do know that today is typically our Friday. Uh, if the Lord prolongs his coming, we will return on Tuesday. But I want you to take this word and what we've shared this week and ask yourself, take a look at, at John the third chapter and look at the eighth verse. And as I'm talking to you, the rain is pouring outside. I have to say, I thank God for the rain because the rain does a lot of stuff. The rain washes away and it also replenishes so that the seed can bud for, for food of the harvest. And so I thank God for the rain that falls from heaven. Take a time and look at John, the third chapter, and look at the eighth verse. And ask yourself that question. How am I identified through my spiritual activity and sound? I absolutely love you. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.